you got the house, the spouse, maybe you got kids or you know they're on the way, but you're still working your job, sick and tired of going to the same place every day. And you look into the future and you know you're going to be doing this for the next 20 years. That's a thought that removes the idea of financial freedom. See, financial freedom is all about doing nothing and still getting money. And it's something called passive income. If you're familiar with passive income, then the rest of this might sound pretty familiar with you. See, there's people out there who don't think that they can invest in real estate because they don't have the money or they don't know how to invest. But if you're listening to this, I've probably targeted you because you're already an income earner, somebody who makes money, somebody who has a little bit on the sidelines, but you think you need 25% down for the next deal. The truth is you can actually buy real estate with far less than 25%. But if you don't have enough to say put five or 10% down, you're right. Maybe it's not time for you to buy. Maybe instead it's time for you to learn how to make that money. So what about the, the other enemies? What about some of the problems that are stopping you? Maybe it's your family, maybe it's your friends, your boss, who wants you to stay working the job because it makes them feel comfortable or stable or it's a part of status. So here's what happened to me when I was in the same spot that you are. I was driving down the street one day and I looked to the left and I looked to the right and I noticed that each one of those houses were multifamilies or single families. And I imagined that they were rented out by somebody and that person was paying rent. And I started driving down. And I realized that one was worth a quarter million. That one's a quarter million. That one's a quarter million. Now these houses are worth a lot more. They're worth about half a million each time uh, you look at them. But I realized the difference between the person who owned that house and the person that was driving the car, which was me, was that their name was on the deed. The person whose name is on the deed is the person who makes all the money, whether it's in equity or in cash flow and rents. So I decided I'm going to go figure out how to put my name on deeds. And I wrote a book about it. I wrote a book about my journey to financial freedom, to my first quarter million. And that book's called Broke to a Quarter Million. And if you're not in that beginning broke stage, cool. Everything in the book will actually work even faster for you. And if you're looking to increase and get to the next level and you want more than a quarter million, you want the half a million or a million, I guarantee you can do it in steps. Quarterly steps of a quarter million still makes a million dollars. So I wrote the book. I'm giving it away for free for the first hundred people who click the link below. Now, when I say give it away for free, you still got to put some skin in the game. I'm not going to pay for the shipping. You've got to pay shipping and handling, but it's super affordable. Thank God for Amazon. Click the link below. I'll see you on the inside. Cheers to your success.